Hello, Evan Rand here. Welcome back to another video working on the ceiling here in my living room. And I don't know about you folks, I think every single video I've done working on this ceiling so far has been an absolute nightmare. Uh, for starters, we had installing these lights. Talk about an awful, awful experience. Next, everyone, at least I think it was the next video, we tried sanding the ceiling. Talk about another awful experience. So, what kind of awful experience do we got planned for this video? Well, everyone, Probably is going to be awful, let's face it. Uh, I'm going to be attempting to fix, and I don't know if you can see it. Actually, oh yeah, you can see it on the camera. Okay, good. I wasn't sure if the camera would pick it up or not. In fact, you could probably actually see it better than I can. But around most of these lights, have one. I did a fair amount of damage when I uh, cut the holes up into there. Used a hole saw, but for those of you who didn't see that video, I went, maybe you should go check it out. I'll try to remember to maybe put a link to it here in this uh, video as well. Uh, this ceiling, everyone, is four friggin' inches thick. Yes, you you heard right, everyone. I, I did not misspeak. It is four, four inches thick, everyone. So in the process of trying to run my whole saw up through there, obviously some things happened that, uh, yeah, well, things happen, everyone. And somehow, I don't know why, but this one over here is probably going to be a whole lot of fun. The hole on this one somehow ended up being too big. The light's actually sitting up in the hole a little bit. That one's going to be real fun to fix, so... Figure we're going to start with the one in the corner, Evan. We're going to see once how it goes. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to fix some of these. Obviously, some of these are going to be easy. I'm going to just you know, put a little plaster up in there. I'll be done. This is plaster, by the way. Uh, so for fixing this, Evan, I've got plaster. And this is the uh, the stuff you got to mix. Uh, supposed to quick set, I think it was like 20 minutes or so. Oh, yeah, 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, it sets hard. And I think the uh, working time is like 5 to 10 or something like that. And then in case I need it, I don't know if we will or not, but I got some mesh tape here as well. I thought maybe that would be a good idea because uh, for something like that, when I have one, like we're going to have to like somehow build it out and decrease the diameter of that hole somehow. Not entirely sure what that's going to look like yet. So that's going to be interesting. Okay, so I figure first things first, and we should probably get the light out. And there's a close up of the, uh, the damage. That's the way most of these lights are here, by the way. Just, uh, yeah, basically chips and cracks around the outside edge, which shouldn't be too hard to fix up here, I figure. I think we can leave the light hanging down like that. That should be fine. I thought about taking it off there too, but I think that'll work. Okay, and then I think with this one are probably good. I think I'm just going to start putting plaster on it. I don't think I'm going to try the the fiber tape or anything like that yet. I'm just going to patch this up, see once how that looks, and we'll go from there and uh, feel the cold air coming down from there. Cool. Okay, before this uh, plaster, we need to mix a uh, two-to-one ratio. So what I've got here, I think this actually might be more than enough. Uh, i got a one-cup measure and then a half a cup measure here for the water. So one cup of plaster here, and I'm thinking maybe I should have gone a half a cup plaster and a quarter cup water. We'll see once here. This might be too much. Looking at this now, but I might have to go a half cup. Hmm. Because you got a six to 10 minute work time on this one, I and mean, then that's that's not much. Let's try it. See how this goes here. I just got a uh, bowl here to mix this in. And then we're going to go using my good measurings cups, sorry, half right a here. cup of water here. Okay. And then we'll mix that up here a minute. Got my trusty, rusty, smaller knife here. Okay, when I think we got that mixed up uh, well enough, let's uh, take this over to the living room here and we'll... See if we can start applying this. It seems a little thin to me, especially for applying on the ceiling. Oh, there's another. Nope, I think that was just a bubble. Yeah, like I said, it seems a little thin for applying to the ceiling. But we'll see once how it goes. I guess it does It does have some stiffness to it. Okay, and we can also let it dry just a little bit here too. Then it should get a little stiffer.
Well, when the first one done, I think it turned out okay here, I guess. The uh, plaster is definitely a little soft uh, when you first start putting it up there, when it doesn't quite uh, stay up there, but uh, get a couple minutes in, and then it seemed to start hardening up a little bit, and it worked a lot better. So I think maybe the next one, I just need to wait a few more minutes, let it uh, stiffen up just a little bit. And then, yeah, even on the sides, yeah, I put just a little bit. Because, again, the, the, like the whole hole, and I don't know about necessarily on this one, but some of them, like, the whole hole is just a little bit uh, too big. So, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. We'll, of course, have to uh, let that set up a little bit, then we'll sand it. Now, it does say on the directions you can wet sand it. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not. I mean, I've got it fairly smooth, and I've got the drywall sander, so I'm hoping I can maybe use that. And, of course, in here, I don't have not going to worry about sanding that. I mean, as long as the light fits, good enough, right? But... This course will have to sand that as much as possible. holes here patched now we're going to attempt to uh, sand then we'll see once how well that goes you have one uh, again per the uh, directions on the pail you can wet sand that obviously that's not something I did here in this case uh, hopefully the uh, drywall sander I have will make easy enough work here of sanding it dry I did go ahead and put the lights that were finished here last night back in the holes because again there's a fair amount of cold air coming down through these ovens something I want to fix here at some point but at least for now We'll uh, leave them the way they are. So anyway, we're going to have to pull some of these lights back out again. We'll start sanding them. Uh, and I forgot to grab it out. I've got a drum sander over at the shop there, but uh, we'll see once I may or may not need it. The, the drum sander obviously let me sand the round part there if we have to, which I don't know if we'll have to. I think we might because some of these, I might have actually put a little too much plaster in now, and it kind of went the other way. So yeah, of course, go figure, right?
Well, I think the first one looks pretty good here. Yeah, I will definitely live with that. Looks a whole lot better. Of course, I don't know if this one was that bad to uh, begin with. Some of the rest here obviously were much, much worse, but this one I think turned out pretty good. That one also fit up in there quite nicely. That is something I might have to uh, address with some of these other ones that, uh, like you can see that one there. Yeah, some of these fit a little tight because I might've put a little too much plastic. But anyway, we'll, uh, we'll work on each one as we go through them. Okay, well, we're halfway done here at this point. Got the four in this line all finished up, and I'll have to say, I mean, those look a whole lot nicer. Of course, we need to uh, finish painting the ceiling and all that good stuff yet, but uh, just having them smooth, and I think essentially ready to be painted here at this point. Yeah, that's looking a lot nicer. I mean, got four more to finish here yet. Uh, going quite nicely and smoothly here so far. I probably shouldn't say that because I probably just jinxed myself. Speaking of jinxing myself, we're moving on to probably what was the worst one here so far. That's that one there. Uh, that hole was like too large. I'm not sure how that's possible, that one, but it was too large and the light would actually sit up in there. So I do have some extra plaster on that one. Um, possibly too much. We'll see once how it goes here. But yeah, we're going to start sanding that one next and I'll work on the rest in this uh, row and be finished. Initial sanding is complete, and with the exception of this one and this one, I think we're almost finished here. I'm going to add, probably put a little bit more plaster on these two. I don't know if you can see it right there, but right 
get my finger out of there, right there where my finger was. Yeah, and you can actually see it on the camera there a little bit. Should have had just a little bit more plaster in there. And then the same story with this one. You don't need much. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix up just a little bit of plaster. Uh, Replaster that, let that dry, and it shouldn't take long. This stuff's supposed to set up in like 30 minutes, everyone. So we'll put a little more plaster on there. And again, we're not putting much, so we'll go ahead and sand that, and then we should be finished. Well, I mean, all lights have been sanded here, and I think they're looking a whole lot better than they did when we started this here. Uh, this has definitely been a long overdue uh, project here. I just wasn't sure how it would go, and I would have to say, when that actually, uh, for probably the first time in quite a while, and, uh, the ceiling project here has gone quite well here for a change. So that's a bit uh, refreshing. Most of the time we got to do work on these ceilings. I mean, either this one or the one on the other side here. It's just uh, nothing but an absolute friggin' nightmare. So nice to see a project that actually went fairly well, even though this was a pro project that was caused by a bit of a nightmare installing these lights. But oh well. Anyway, yeah, like I said, I mean, it looks a lot better. We do still have a little bit of work to do here at some point. If I turn them on, we got one that is still out yet. So that'll probably be a video coming up at some point. We'll have to change that. Um... And then, of course, there'll be a video coming out here at some point. We'll be painting the ceiling here, hopefully. Again, my tentative plan is I'm going to maybe paint a little section just to see once how it looks. Like, maybe, like, right in here, we'll just paint a little section. If it looks okay, we'll paint the rest of it. Uh, so that's the plan. So anyway, with that, everyone, you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below. And as always, everyone, thanks for watching, and until next time.